if it's a holdup, it would display the name of the premises and its address along with the type of signal, whether it's a holdup or a burglary. You tend to put in the rotine, and, and that's your security. You know, your gates and your rotine windows, um, something for the door. And then you find eventually from experience that, you know, that the, because of the sophistication of some of the burglars, that that really doesn't offer you the protection. So you go to the next stage, which is the electron, you know, put, put an electronic alarm system. You have been rubbed in movie style scenarios. So people know that no one is safe, not even the president, not even the poor man. That is the feeling that we have in this country. None shall escape. And that is what makes the fear a very heavy burden on every citizen. Because they walk around just thinking, will it be me next? Police statistics show that robberies and break-ins are among the crimes now on the rise, giving way to fear and the people living in jail. The public is gripped by this rampant existence of fear. And their only reaction on a personal basis is to fortify themselves at home. So what you have really these days are not homes in the traditional sense, with an open porch, a window for breeze to come in. You have garrisons, you have fortresses. Widespread fear means business for some 200 security and related firms around the country. Services ranged from armed guards, sophisticated alarms, automatic gates and dogs. Ironically, freedom carries a price tag of up to $30,000. When the glass is vibrated at a certain frequency, it triggers the glass break. And I, um, I decided on it because we have this, I don't know the span of this, this must be 12 feet of open window, which I specifically wanted because I wanted to retain that tropical openness, that indoor-outdoor feeling. Burglar proofing is no longer an option. The days gone by where, you know, it was more um, restricted to areas. Now it is anywhere you want, anywhere you're building a home, whether it be the low class, middle income, or upper income bracket, right? Burglar proofing is, in fact, necessary. Five years ago, I think one could have, right, still left, right, their, their back doors with, with, with an ordinary wooden door, right? Um, now it's no longer like that. Every area is susceptible. Everybody in the area is kind of unsafe for themselves, right? Because some need work, this one crying out for this, some crying out for that, right? I think now everybody ain't happy. And it goes for a lot of people around too. Eh? Police say they're doing all they possibly can to tackle crime. Given the constraint within which we have to operate, we could hardly be expected to do more. Some of them do not ever report so that you have one of these intransigents going free. When in truth and in fact with their support, we would have been able to curtail some offenses by quite a few, if only they would report. And security firms fill the gap. If you had the sort of police service that people felt confident that, you know, that they would get the response and, and, and they uh, felt that you know, the, the, the majority of break-ins, the, the would-be attackers are, are apprehended, and there was a considered effort to get to the bottom of crime. I, I think that has been one of the major problems, that with low that confidence, our people have to look out for themselves. It's not just a question of police and thief, says one psychologist, but social problems, poverty, unemployment, and the judicial system form the roots of crime. The amount of people who find themselves in jail as against those who are accused and charged is a very small proportion. The courts sit at the center of the problem. What's the solution to crime? I wouldn't answer that. I think frankly, I will tell the country, ask your government. I have been in parliament. I have looked at ministers in their faces and told them what to do. And they have played one time after another politics with the issue and playing politics with people's lives and safety. The ball has been thrown into the court of the politicians. But until such a time comes when citizens feel safe in their own homes without having to barricade it up, this is the only answer. Ira Mathur, TV6 News, with a special report.